What's going on guys? I said I would try to bring you another video today. It's uh, going to be a gameplay one. I've got some league versus league play to play today. First off, I wanted to show you that everything other than that Ibaka sold. So let's head over to the auction house and let's grab those coin. They sold relatively quickly. I think uh, by the time I had actually finished uploading the video, most of these had sold, which this is nice, brings me back up to 3.2. So what I'm gonna do here now, I'm gonna head to the store. I have not bought my pro packs today. I haven't bought any legendary packs either. So let me buy both of these and I'm gonna save them until I get that next League versus League collectible pack so that I can bring you the gameplay for Dwayne Wade. So I'm gonna save these five for now gonna buy them up put them in my item packs and we're gonna get there that's three that's four it looks like we're still gonna be over three mil which is nice I like uh, setting minimums for myself that's one thing that I learned about this game is that you don't want to plateau uh, you don't want to actually dip underneath a certain level always make sure you have a base for yourself 3 mil right now has been kind of my level. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and play this uh, live event quickly just because it's sitting here. It just popped up. But yeah, when I started off, um, I was uh, like 100k was where I went. That was my, my minimum no matter what. I always made sure that I had 100,000 coin in my bank. Uh, then as you know the game progressed and I started getting better at sniping started learning how to play a little bit more it gradually went up to 250 500 when I hit my first million that was like a hundred percent I was never going to go under a million coin again I obviously broke that um, it surprisingly was not for a long time I broke that during the all-star promo I was closing in on about 20 million coin I spent almost all of it getting the Masters. I picked up Curry. I picked up Towns and I'm trying to think who's the, oh, Westbrook. He's the shooting guy, point guard master. Anyway, so league versus league. We are actually down by five quarters and we're up by 52 points. So it's looking like there's a good chance that my league is going to be able to take this and remain undefeated. I don't know if you saw over here, but we're 22-0. Which is nice considering we recently reset. Ooh, look there, 95 has nobody played against them. So let's go for all three against this 95 overall. This hidden guy I'm assuming is going to be Jeremy Lin. Let's double check. Yeah, it is. So they got Lin and they got Countdown Harden. Westbrook, Westbrook, and Westbrook. So 96, 96. They've got a lot of hidden guys. They've got a lot of new promo I find it's the new promo players that are the ones that don't load properly which is kind of annoying wow got three Rodmans four and five every lineup with a Dennis Rodman that's pretty sick I understand the username sick daddy that's legit five Rodmans man that must have cost a fortune He's got Mobile Madness Mellow filled out. Like, I just, honestly, I want to take a second to look at these lineups. His small ball lineup, I had Rodman here. I built him just to sell because I already had the Elite Trophies. I like to save those. Um, but other than Rodman, it's the same small ball lineup. Defensive, it's looking similar. He's got Glenn Robinson the third. I have Paul George. And he's obviously, he's got Rodman. I have Kawhi. Um, big man is looking like it's his worst lineup. He's got the double clutch off of McGrady and Westbrook, which I don't like playing against that combo. I find they manage to hit their clutches a lot. But Westbrook, I also find, is probably easier to steal from than Lynn. And Harden is tough because he's got that free buzzer beater and he's his AI is pretty good. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go against... If I want to go against the shooting lineup is not shooting lineup is not spectacular. So we'll do shooting. We will do big man. And just for fun, I'm gonna show you guys Lin's AI, even with that double clutch, just because my league is up by quite a bit. 
So let's go against big man first. And uh, I usually have fun with my defensive lineup. I've got that all-star master Steph Curry. He plays pretty insane. Um, it's not 100%, but if he gets going, he's pretty unstoppable from three. Towns and Kawhi both can also really shoot, I find. Ah, stepped in for a two by accident. But he drained it, which is nice. So it's a good start. And now we're going to have fun with Westbrook on Westbrook. Honestly, I find Russell Westbrook is one of the better point guards in this game. He uh, tends to not disappoint. Everywhere I've had him, he's a decent shooter. He's a decent defender. He's, you know, pretty good just about every... Oh, get that. Get that. Is that going to go out of bounds? Wow. That was such a weird possession. Those don't happen very often, but when they do, they're always funny. Look at that. Westbrook AI with the block. This is going to be a low-scoring matchup, it looks like. What, one thing that I like to do, um, as you can tell if you've been watching my videos, is I take a lot of three-pointers. I tend to go for twos, typically off of steals, just because it's like a bonus possession, so I like to get that bonus point that's pretty guaranteed. But if it's my ball, I'll go for threes. One thing I really like to do is you can see I'm an extra step or so outside of the three-point line. I don't like to get right up to the three-point line. I find that if you're going to get contested at the three and you are a step off the line, you have a much better chance of hitting it. Like, look how far back I am with Paul George. He's kind of disappointing as a card overall. Um... Haven't found him amazing by any means, but the fact that uh, he does hit threes occasionally, keeping my lineup, and the fact that he's free, he was a free-to-build card, uh, so I, I kept him in there. That's one thing I hate about the defensive lineup, though, is that I've noticed with more and more gameplay that the longer I play, um, if I miss a three seems to affect the entire roster. So sometimes I like to just kind of come in and drive and get a two just to get that shot back on track. Like I, it's something that I would recommend that you do if you are using... Oh, missed it. If you're using any player, basically, and you take a lot of threes and you miss one, there's a good chance that you are going to continue to miss threes with them because of shot streak which if you go to nbalive.gg you can check the database there and you will see that there are dozens of hidden statistics those hidden stats really really make a difference in this game and shot streak is a good one the older cards i find especially they didn't really have shot streak so they're all low um I'm going to go with big man lineup here just because, like I said before, I'm missing that last collectible on those defensive rebounds, so I always play it once, try and get those rebounds. But yeah, shot streak is an important one. If you've got a guy whose shot streak is like 95, like I think all-star Curry's shot streak is pretty high, those guys tend to be able to hit shots even after missing, which is a nice, important thing to have. Um... I like how it changed the gameplay has I find the animations I should say have changed with the updates here and there when I started playing I never got shots off the side of the backboard and now it happens fairly regularly in silly situations too sometimes like they'll go up for shots that have no business being shot like that and they'll just take a shot off the backboard but yeah um, shot streak definitely an important factor because it means that if I miss, I can keep going with them. Um, but yeah, so for the most part, if I miss a shot, I tend to avoid that player. If I'm hitting a couple in a row, I tend to continue. And like I said, when I'm playing with another... Oh, here's the first of two. Ah, I missed the clutch. I like to try to get those blocks. Obviously, it's not the easiest thing in the world, but it's not the most difficult either. And I got a steal off of him, so so far the game's been played pretty well. Um, but yeah, so... Sh oh. 
shot streak. If you've got a guy who misses a shot and he's got a low shot streak, he's not going to hit again. It seems to be embedded in the gameplay. I like to make sure that I pass it around if that happens. Like, you know, I'll ride the hot hand if uh, you've got someone knocking down shots. One of the best at that, I find, is Lin. Oh, I don't know how he didn't get that rebound. But yeah, when I'm playing with Lin on my lineup, if I'm hitting threes with him, he's like dead on for the rest of the game. I've had some quarters with Lin where uh, I'll go, you know, 24 to 2, 24 to 3, and he's just hit a buttload of three pointers. Lin is, uh, he's very, very good from the corners, I find. He's one of the few players that I actually use from the corners. Typically, I shoot from the wings. Um, All star Steph Curry is one of those guys who also I find he hits really well from the corners. And as a shooting guard, it, it kind of works because, oh, this is nice. Let's back up, use that clutch. So I got both of my clutches in pretty quickly, which means I might have time to use Shaq's in the paint. Um, otherwise, we'll see if we can spot Durant running through. See if we can get him the ball. He's a really, really good three. Ah, oh, shit. He's going to get that. Yeah, Durant's an excellent three-point shooter. Mobile Madness Durant, I think he's a 92 from three. Something ridiculous like that. Uh, let's see if we can get him into the game. We can. Let's back up. Another thing I like to do is I like to go around instead of just backing up and taking the shot. I find if you move your positioning, you have a much better chance of hitting the shot. I don't know if it has to do with trying to mimic gameplay where you're you know, getting away from the defender to get the shot or if it's just some sort of loophole in the coding. Um, but it's something that I do regularly and it's something that works regularly. Okay, so last up, we've got the shooting lineup against my small ball lineup. This one, like I said, I like the small ball lineup. It's pretty cheese to have that double clutch. Plus, I've got T-Max clutch. I used to have Rodman's in the paint ability, and I've got Supremacy LeBron's buzzer beater. So there's potential for a lot of damage with this lineup. Um, it's very rare that I get all three, which I'm talking about. Lin's double, both of his double clutch, T-Max clutch, and LeBron's buzzer beater. But I do on occasion. When I had Rodman, because I game tested him, um, there were a couple of times where I actually got all four because his clock seems to run a little bit faster. So what I mean by that is that his shot, instead of being active at... Ooh, nice board. That's one thing that Drummond's great at. He, he's a great offensive rebounder. Um, but yeah, so Rodman's shot seems to come up just like Shaq's in the paint I don't think it takes a minute and a half to charge it feels more like it takes a minute 15 I feel like usually um, he's ready to go at 45 seconds instead of at 30 seconds remaining so I was able to get him going then try to get a steal get Lin's shot to go or usually get T-Mac shot to go actually because Lin's was usually off by a second or so. It's very difficult to get it at exactly a minute 15 remaining. That's a wide open shot. That's that's a rarity. You never see a shot that wide open. It's because it looks like uh, his fan favorite, Paul Pierce, got dropped by a pick. I'm also happy I'm getting steals off of All-Star Westbrook, which I'm surprised by because usually he does not give up the rock at all. He's not easy to take the ball away from. I think I've just had a lucky drive here. But that's the nature of the beast. It happens. Jeez. Oh, I hate when that happens too. When you get something really like a good steal and then the AI just picks it up. I find that's also that's one of the issues that this game has. It doesn't have a lot of problems, but the ones that it does are, it, they, they seem to be like almost issues with the coding where You'll be playing a game and you'll find a repeated pattern that always is the same thing. And that's one of them. Like that that steal to the opponent, I find that happens often. Oh, that's only going to be a two. But if we're lucky, we will have just enough time to take the ball from Westbrook. 
And, oh, oh, he passed it up. Ah, T-Mac got his clutch shot. That'll give him five points on the quarter, but that should give us plenty of time to get LeBron activated. So the question, though, the hard part is finding him. Ah, ooh, that we might have enough time there. 1.9 seconds in their zone. LeBron's inbounding. We might not actually be able to do this. So let's just take that. Ah, that's crappy. Oh, well, happens. I probably shouldn't have gone to the corner with all the coverage. 19.5 is a good margin, though. So that's League versus League gameplay for today. I think that I am about done that last collectible pack, so I will try to give you pack opening for tomorrow. I'll get some more pro packs tomorrow. Uh, 75. Damn. That's one of my higher scores. I usually am in the mid-60s. High, high 50s to mid-60s, I'd say, is my typical average. Uh, John Stockton just came out. I'm excited to play with him. Even though Westbrook's in that lineup, I feel like that's going to be nice. One thing that I found super cheese is that EA brought out a Carl Malone during the playoffs and a John Stockton during the playoffs and made them different lineups. So you cannot play with your legend Carl Malone and your legend John Stockton simultaneously. Not only that, but the other Carl Malone legend is a big man. And the other John Stockton is the seasoned vet, I believe, and he's a small ball. So there is no combo of John Stockton and Carl Malone, which hurts my soul. Because they were so dirty together. I know they didn't win a championship together, but they had the bad luck of being a force in the 90s. They had Michael Jordan just in his prime dominating the league. And then when he wasn't there, they had Hakeem. They had Barkley. Barkley never won a championship, but he was a force. The Suns were great. They just couldn't get there. But yeah, that, that bothers me to my core, the fact that we couldn't get a Stockton-Malone combo. It, it doesn't make any sense to me. But anyway, after we win this tournament, I'll get those last uh, two gold collectibles. That'll give me the elite. That'll let me finish off Dwayne Wade. So what I'll do is I'll do the smaller pack opening with the League versus League pack and the 10 Pro packs, because I'll buy five more tomorrow, and the two Legendary packs, and then we'll do a gameplay with Dwayne Wade. We'll do a gameplay in head-to-head. -head. We'll do a gameplay in League versus League, because the gameplay is very different between the two. So we will test it out, and we'll see what happens. We'll see where he's good. We'll see where he's bad. And if we get lucky, we might be able to find someone we can play against whose two-way lineup includes... AI, that's the wrong word. <laughs> that includes Dwayne Wade so that we can see how his AI plays. Anyway, that's going to be it for me for today. Um, again, happy Mother's Day if there are any mothers watching, which I highly doubt, but you never know. And uh, to everyone else, enjoy your Sunday. And hopefully you guys get a nice amount of sleep before the week starts and we're all back to work. All right. Peace out, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment with what you want to see. I've been going off what I would want to see, but there might be something that you guys want to see I'm not thinking of. So please, please, the most important thing is leaving me a comment, letting me know what you want. And don't forget to check out nbalive.gg for all of your forum needs. If you have any questions about the game, anything at all, you can head on to there. You can give me a personal message. KCWINN66. It's the same as my Twitter handle. It's the same as my username here on YouTube. And it's a great site. You can trade players, trade coin, move from different auction houses. Lots of stuff you can do. And basically, overall, just gameplay tips and tricks. So, uh, yeah, check it out. And peace out. Later, guys.